Hi, everybody. Thanks for joining us in the locker room today. I'm Alan Locker, and I grew up watching As the World Turns and Guiding Light. I joined the PR department at both shows in 1997 and remained working there for 13 years until the shows went off the air. As I was stuck home in quarantine like the rest of you, I was realized that I was missing my Oakdale family and thought some of you might be feeling the same way. I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have one of Oakdale's favorite couples of all time, and certainly one of my favorite couples here with me today. Don Hastings, Dr. Bob Hughes, and Catherine Hayes, Kim Hughes. So let's welcome both of them to the locker room today. Kathy, Thank hey Don. You. Hey, Alan, thank you. Hi, everybody. How you doing? Good. Good. Hang Good. in during this crazy time. Oh, yeah, it's great. I'm having the best time of my life. <laughs> I was in prison. Yes. <laughs> That's the way prison, <laughs> prison might be more fun. <laughs> yes, it would be. <laughs> oh, my dog well, just came back in. That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, we'll deal with the dogs. When okay. did, um, when was the last time you two got to see each other? Don, I think, had mentioned he was out in Illinois. No, I, I, uh, the last time Catherine and, and uh, Leslie and Herb, I think it was before Herb and Catherine, who was uh, a very good friend of both of ours, uh, we went over and saw Catherine right before she moved to Illinois. Right, yeah. It was a couple of days before I moved. Right, because you were all packed up, ready to go, because we picked you up. You were wandering around on the street. I remember that with your bag of money. With my thumb, <laughs> my thumb in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you lived in Illinois now, Kathy? How long have you been there? It's April 17th of last year. God, oh, okay. it's been that long. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Right? And, yeah. It's April 17th of last year. Uh, they and, picked and this is this is the town you grew up in, correct? Well, I didn't grow up here. I was born here. I was born, if you could see out the windows behind me, you could see across, how many acres is it? I don't know, 20-some uh, acres of, of, of farm. field, farm ground, is the barn on the farm where I was born. <laughs> Incredible. And the barn is still standing, and so am I. <laughs> <laughs> well, we'd love to hear that. Well, I'll tell you, I, I'm reading uh, the fans' comments, and they're all teary-eyed, excited, so excited. It feels like family. It feels like Thanksgiving is oh, that's national, great. national treasures, uh, some people are saying. That's nice. Do you, do you two remember the first time you met each other? Donnie, I don't know. Do you? Oh, I remember when you auditioned for the show. Yeah. Wow. I, I don't know that we met that day. Uh, but uh, but I was there at the time with uh, with Erna and whoever was producing. It could have been uh, Harris or, or was it Ted Barth uh, Eddie Barth Bartholomew Freddie Bartholomew Freddie Bartholomew. Gee, I don't remember. After that, not until you actually came in the rehearsal, I think. Yeah. What I, what I thought when the first minute I saw him. I thought, holy smokes, he's really handsome. <laughs> oh, thank you. And we sure got along. We did. We had a lot of fun for a long time. I always say, Donnie, that you were the longest. This was the longest job I ever had. And it was the best pal and friend and and who, who well, I you cry, Catherine. Now there'll be no crying. <laughs> <laughs> and my nose will run. <laughs> You're gonna make the fan the fans cry. Do you do you do each you? remember your first day in Oakdale? Like who you worked with or well we were there, I guess. Uh well you and Jill, uh, Jill Spencer, possibly. Yeah. Jennifer, yeah. Yeah. Jillian Spencer for to play Jennifer. Yeah. So I, I, I really don't remember that particular day. Um, um, those I mean, it was really, you know, the, back in the early days, black and white, and, and the show was black and white, I believe. It and was. We were at the broadcast center, 
and uh, see, and it, it was it, black and white, and it was live, right? Yeah, it was live. Yes, yeah. yeah so, so I remember uh, who, whoever it was. Oh, Chris, who Chris was that? It played your father. Yeah. Oh, yes. Don McLaughlin. Don McLaughlin. Don McLaughlin and Helen Wagner played yes. Nancy and Chris. And Chris. And Don t told me that if anybody, if you were on live television and and you were in a scene with somebody and they forgot their line, it made it look like you forgot your line. <laughs> I never, I never. So I started memorizing my lines and the other person's lines so i could pick it up if i needed to <laughs> well what, you know there were times when pa pages would get skipped people would jump to another scene practically you know yeah. somehow you had to get back to where you were supposed to be and the director and the, uh, the booth saying where are they where are they we know <laughs> in the studio but we don't know where they are on the script <laughs> I would be so frightened. That's got to be so scary. Yeah. We were frightened every day. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And, and Don, you were on the air when President Kennedy was shot, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah, Henderson we were live. Was live. We all were. Right. Yeah, that was we were down in the. Uh, we were down on Twenty Sixth Street then. The studio down on Twenty Sixth. Yeah. And. Uh, I remember taking a cab downtown, heading downtown. And people were standing on the street corners there, yelling, "The president's been shot! The president's!" Oh, yeah, it's crazy. yeah, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. Did you ever think when you took those jobs that Don, you'd have it for fifty years and Kathy for thirty-nine years? No. No. Oh, well, I, you know, I. I uh, I can't remember ever quitting a good job, you know, and, and they were good jobs. And I was certainly happy uh, to have kind of a normal life. That us. Yeah, I agree. I always say, you know, it was, it was, I guess, 38 years. It was the longest job I ever had. Actors never had long jobs like that. I mean, a play would you know, play on Broadway a certain amount of time or whatever. And, but it was but it was the longest job and the best partner I ever had. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, 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 that's all I ever had with long jobs. I had uh, three years in life with Father, six years on Captain Video, and four and a half years on Edge of Night. Yeah. Working in my job, as I said, I never quit. They had to kick me out, you know. <laughs> And, and Don, you wrote back then too, right? When Catherine was on the show, I wrote, yeah. And uh, Jill and Catherine and myself and Larry Grigman, we had, uh, in fact, we had a new major storyline on the show at that time. Yeah. And, and you wrote under a pseudonym. Did you have to do that for part of the... Well, nobody on the show knew except uh, uh, Freddie Bartholomew, I think was the only one who knew that I was writing for Ernest Phillips. And I did that for about a year. And then I wrote for Guiding Light for two different head writers. And then it was just got to be silly because I was on the shows. And then the show went to an hour. And there was just no time to do anything else. And uh, I, I can't say that I thoroughly enjoyed it. At first, it was kind of exciting working for Erna because she really knew what she was doing. Yeah. yeah. And the other ones were OK, okay. But nowhere near as uh, as. Uh, Talented, really. Yeah. Do you remember anything specific that you wrote? I mean, I know it's a long time ago. <laughs> like any any guiding light story or world turn story that stands out, if you remember. Uh, I don't. Uh, one thing I do remember: the Soderbergh were writing uh, guiding light, and and I was working for them. I was doing like a script a week for not a very long time. And they said, we love, uh, we love the humor you put in the scripts, and we have to cut it out if it doesn't match the other writers. So, so that was the one thing I remember. And Erna always used to say I was the thickest Irishman she'd ever met in her life. And so we got along fine, though. Yeah. She was Matt. such a 
wasn't she? <laughs> she was scary. I mean, I'm not going to lose a writing job. I can lose my acting job if I just said the wrong <laughs> If you got on her bad side, yeah, That's I guess you right. could. You didn't want to go there. Remember somehow they had to lift her up. Was it they lifted her up stairs or something towards the end? That um, I don't remember at all. She was living in Chicago. Uh, uh, when they came from P and G and and no, oh, that was no. I never remember her being anything but ambulatory. No, she towards the end she was being lifted up the stairs. No, I don't remember that at all. I know that she used to come in on the. Uh, uh, oh God! The crack train between Chicago and and uh, and uh, New York, not the Commodore of Annabelle. Twentieth century. She'd come in on the twentieth century, and uh, they would roll out a red carpet, which, which they used to do. And then she came off uh, one time in a wheelchair. I remember Bob Short and and Ed Drock met her and thought, "Oh my God, are you okay?" And she said, "Yeah, I just don't like going this far." But she was fine, and that was uh, that was. Quite a bit before she did yeah. And it's pretty pretty um, impressive that you both worked with the woman who created the show, you know? I mean, like. She was incredible, I thought. She was not only writing our show, she was writing Guiding Light at the same time for one. Yeah. one couple That's of how I got on CB, on uh, ATWT, as the world turns. Because you did Guiding Light first? Yeah, because I was on Guiding Light. Before I did, yeah, yeah, I think Les Leslie Bauer. Was that who I was? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't remember. I don't remember who I am now. <laughs> not, a long, yeah. not long ago. <laughs> yeah, part part of a you know a big family on Guiding Light. The Bauer family's you know like the uses of Guiding Light. Yeah. I started in radio with Shavrita. Well, you were. Aren't you the, oh, wow. the ranger thing, Don? Yeah, yeah. yeah, but back in the, the uh, 1940, Sharita and I were on a children's show together. I'm along with a lot of other people. Is that the radio program that you did for? Yeah, Coast to Coast on a Bus. Yeah. How, you were really young when you started that, right? I was 45. <laughs> <laughs> I was five. I mean, that's I early really to have a job. How did how did your family know, like, to take on an audition? How did that come about? They didn't really get me out of the house, I think. Uh, that was amazing. No, my brother Bobby was doing radio and, and uh, at that time. And uh, I just kind of followed him in one day. And they said, did he do anything? And, and uh, Bobby said, no, he doesn't. He sits around the house, you know. So uh, I started singing. Uh, uh, with a group called the Buggy Bus Chorus. And uh, it was incredible. Anyway, uh, they didn't have the, any way to record the Bunny Bus Chorus in the day, so uh, luckily there's no evidence of that. <laughs> you can't find the radio show anywhere? I don't know. It might be out there. I've never really looked. Uh, Bobby did some big radio. It was a big radio show in the middle called the National Barn Dance out of Chicago. Catherine, do you you might remember that? Yeah, I do. Every Saturday night, I believe. Yeah. And it was a big hour and a half show with and Bobby would get on the train from uh, from New York and go to Chicago, and he would sing. He was the little boy tenor on that when he was about fifteen years old. Well, your whole, wasn't your whole family in the bit? I remember you saying something about you were four years old and you're and you were working somehow. You were going no. to New York or five years old. Or I was about five. I, I was also a Conover model. If you'd like to see my legs, I can see them. Now. No, I've seen them. <laughs> <laughs> you can. That, you can that, that, didn't, that didn't last very long. And when I was seven, I, I was cast in life with fathers. So that was uh, when I went to the Yeah. It's fascinating that you started so young. Um, the, the fans, like I said, they are so excited that you're here. And for having roles that many years and telling so many stories that you have told, are there any fan moments that stand out to you? 
um, a story that you were telling on World Turns that you know a fan wrote in and you, how you moved them or something that, that you know. I, I, think I know it's a, a it's a long time. time. So go ahead, Catherine. I, I think the, the one we did with uh, Julianne and, and uh, yeah. Charlie Chiaffi and all of that going to uh, Venice and. Uh, oh yeah. Yeah, I think that was one of my favorites. Did and they we went to England, remember? Yeah, yeah. London and. Uh, yeah. And Italy. That was. I got a picture of us standing under the bridge of size together. Right. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I remember. What was it? I was standing someplace. Oh, <laughs> I don't know where we were, but you you went, I don't know, got out of the train or something, and you went forward and came back. What the heck was it? We were on a train that... that oh, we we took the train from uh, Venice to Zurich and flew home from Zurich. Yeah. But wasn't it, remember it like the train passed itself? Oh, it goes through the, yeah, it goes through the pass. Uh, Trin, pass, and you actually can see the back. You go by this one village like three times, you know, <laughs> the train zigzags through the Alps. Yes. And then. And, and we got. We were getting on the train, and the man. There was a man. Oh, and, 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 and the, the accommodation <laughs> we were supposed to have. Help you. Yeah, the guy had the guy lying down. You know, the European trains. There's like two blankets across from each other, and this guy lying down. And I and I said, in my uh, incredible, I said, scusa. You know, oh, and he gets up and he's all upset. And then all of a sudden, he said, I put my leg on. He had his leg off. He had an artificial leg. And then I felt, I said, don't move. And he said, no, no, I move, I move, I move. So we threw this poor guy out onto the rails and uh, we took over the cabin, whatever you call it. But Don said, I help you. <laughs> yeah, I tried to help him, but he was. He's Italian. Yeah, that's my Italian. <laughs> And, and that was uh, when Julianne was on the show, one of you, one of your children. Right. Yeah. 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 Um, I have one of your other children here who wants to say hello, Mr. Scott DeFreitas. Oh, you're Scott kidding. Yeah. Hi, John. I have nothing to do with him. <laughs> you didn't have yeah. You, you were a better father, you though. <laughs> you were a better father than his, uh, you know. <laughs> hey Scotty, how are you? I'm great. I'm great. You guys look great. Hello? Good to you. Sight for sore eyes. Oh boy. It was nice to see you and the whole family last month. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Great. We're out here in California, hunkered down, you know. Uh we've been out here ten years and uh and you know it's it's nice. Yeah, I I envy you being out there. Yeah. I wish I had kept going when I moved out of Connecticut. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so you're in New Jersey now, right? No, honey, I'm I'm in Illinois. Illinois that's right. This is where I was born, and I I've right. been for a long time thinking I wanted to come back home, and um, and so my my brother who lives just up the road from here, uh, and his wife came and visited me in. In Connecticut, and I, one day I told him that I had wanted to come back home, but the houses in this town were these older houses, and they were like two and three story tall houses. And the last thing I need to have is <laughs> three. Well, story fair, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, he he and his wife came back visiting me in Connecticut and he saw he lives right across the field behind me and he saw this contemporary house uh, come on the market and he said look at this and see what you think and it is I said that's it and so I came I moved back to Illinois yeah it was time that's great yeah 
Yeah. Scotty, what do you remember about working with these two? I mean, you were you were young when wow. you were doing the show. I know I was. I was. I was. I was 16, and and uh, I hadn't been exposed to much. I think I'd had one acting job at that time, and and Vince Lee Part, uh, you know, gave me an audition, and and I I found myself on this show with Kathy and Don, and and uh, yeah, I mean, I remember so much. I I I think I think the most the thing that stayed with me the most is that as I get older and I watch my wife's career and the experiences that she has on, on her show and, and obviously on As the World Turns too, um, I remember back to the way I was treated and the way, just how, how difficult it must have been for you and uh, for you two to grow this family for years and years and have to have people come in and out. And, and, um, it was just, you two, you two know me so well and you know, you, you, you observed me for so many years and, and it's, uh, you were the example that I had of how to behave on a set. Um, you were the example of how to treat other actors and it, the, the experiences were formative very formative you know and i and i and i think about you don a lot when it rains because i know that when you had to pick me up out of the hyperbaric chamber uh there was some <laughs> knee damage during that and that that and i, I and i apologize for that and the, fun, the, the best part of the story is that i didn't even know that you hurt yourself until i think i overheard that you had to go to the doctor and you, you, i think you maybe even you had surgery on that on no, I, it was my, it was my uh, Achilles tendon. Oh, your Achilles, yeah. You haven't heard from my lawyer yet because there is a story on. That, you know, I never let go to Sunda, so, so you were probably one of the nicest young men we ever had on the show, and that's the truth. And if you uh, you came equipped, you may not have had a lot of experience, but you did something that I learned when I was a kid. And working with people like Don McLaughlin and, and the older actors that I worked with, you listen, you listen, and you learn. And, and you, you sure were good at that. Oh, thanks. Yeah, I tried. Yeah, it was. It was the, the, the experiences were amazing. I mean, I remember the thing that I, I treasure a lot about you, Kathy, is um, you. You were a very keen observer. You you listened as much as you talked, and and. Um, you would listen to me whenever I, I would speak, and and um, but you you were so yeah you used such a light touch with the way with the things you would tell me. You tried to tried to show me things through your behavior, and uh, you were never overbearing or or anything like that. And that must have been difficult because I have children now. I know I see how you want to tell them things, or you want to you want to you want to share your experience with them. But there's only so much you can do, you know. Yes. So you're just the light touch you had with me was I, I really, I'm really grateful for that, you know. Bless your heart, thank you. And Scotty, I mean, you have children who are following in your yours and Maura's footsteps too. Oh really? yeah. Oh, oh absolutely, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my 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 kids are are because of um, what I've learned and what Maura knows uh, are they have such an advantage. I mean, they have all of our experience and, and, you know, they're going to be artists uh, in some, in some way. I don't know. I don't know how, but, uh, but we have a couple of good actors and, and, you know, it's funny when I, when I thought about, uh, when I knew I was going to talk to you guys today, I, it's, it's, it's going to sound crazy, but like, I kind of like wish we were doing a scene, you know, like I wish we could do that again, oh, you know, together and go back. And cause, because those scenes that, the, the scenes that we had together were so um, vivid for me. You know, it was, it was like, that was a time when I felt, uh, felt like we were really, you know, creating something. It was, I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. But, uh, <laughs> it was really great. It was. You want God, you're gonna make me cry. No, I, <laughs> I always do Kleenex around because when I started. Yeah. Doing, these things, I I end up in tears. It's they're so dear. It's such a dear memory. 
uh, and a gratitude that I feel for having that opportunity to work, you know, with all of all of our dear children and <laughs> dear Don. I yeah. just, uh, it was a privilege. It really was. I mean, as the world turns, I know a lot of people say this, but it was full of New York actors. I mean, you got Bernie McInerney coming in to do a day. You got John Bolton. You got, I mean, all the guys. I mean, it was incredible. It was an incredible time to be there. Um, I feel so lucky. And and it was a different time too. No social media. No. Uh, uh, it just a. It was it was a different generation. But. Um, but being on that, that set with you guys, I, I, I never told, I didn't tell you enough that I, I love you and that I, I, I appreciate everything you did. Because right. we all know, I mean, I was late to this meeting. So we all know how often I was late to the, to the, uh, to the set. So, you know, I think it's the statute of limitations is done on that too. So we can admit that, but, but, uh, but you guys, you guys, I mean, I was a, I was a, a rough, reckless kid, and uh, and and you guys were great to me, and um, and that's that's really what I have, you know, what, what my lasting impression was, and I, I but I want to tell you, I want to tell you, you know, that you guys were terrific and uh, and are terrific. Well, I tell you, I, I would think the high point in your career was marrying Moira. <laughs> I think you're right. Yeah. Very lovely That's, young man. Yeah, yeah. I'm proud of I'm proud of my work on As World Turns, but I'm I'm most proud of uh, you know my marriage and my my children definitely. Good. Well, and and you know the Hughes family, Oakdale is a family to all these people tuning in today and the fans and that you know Scott you getting emotional. I think I told you this when we first met when I was the head of PR. I, you know, I, I grew up watching your show and, you know, Don and Kathy, you two for me were like an extended parents. Um, Scott's Andy was probably a brother. And when, when the show did let him go, it was the only time I have ever watching television. And I watch a lot of television that I literally called the studio to complain because I was so <laughs> upset that they would let a family member go from the show. I know. Because I that's know. how, you know, you're in our living rooms five days a week. He was family. And I just, I, you know, I didn't know how TV was made back, you know, then. But, you know, it's, it's, it just shows you the impact that your characters have on, on just one person. And, you know, there's, you know, hundreds, thousands listening right now who love you guys and, you know, you mean the world to because of your devotion to you know working there for that many years, all of you. So just wanted to repeat that, Scotty. Yeah. <laughs> but it's Thanks. true. It's true. What do you what um is there a highlight of a story moment for, for you, Scotty, with, with these two? I mean, I know Andy's drinking was such a big story. Yeah, it's it's amazing. I go over in my mind some of the monologues that I had and I I, I, I wish I could go back and do them again with the knowledge that I have now. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I just remember um, being supported and, 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 you know, never being looked at askance for any, any choices that I wanted to make. Or, uh, I mean, I'm, I mean, I, I laugh when I think about some of the, some of the things that they, you know, that happened in the scenes that we did. Um, psychiatrist office, Kim is there, Bob is there, Andy's, you know, Andy's in trouble. And those were, I, I, I feel like you guys gave it a hundred percent and, um, and you were so supportive to let me try to shine, you know, which isn't always the case in, in, there was no, there was no ego with you guys. And, and it was always about just doing the project and, 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 and for Dawn, it's about being, you know, the union guy and being like, you know, being the, the kind of the captain of the team. And, and, and it was, uh, it was incredible, but I, but I really wish we could do more scenes. So uh, I'm available at any time to, uh, to do scenes. I, I still know how to act. 
And I and I and and it's funny. In some ways, I would be ten times better now than I was then, just because of all because of being with my wife, who's the best actress I've ever seen, and uh, and my kids. So, you know, I just but I but I do miss, miss those intense scenes where. You know, yeah. Kathy. Kathy knows how to be vulnerable and really tough at the same time, and and uh, you know, Don knows how to make you feel good, and and he's consistent, and uh, hits it smack dab in the middle on the golf course. I mean, come on, it was yeah, great. Kathy's, <laughs> Kathy's hey toots or kiddo, right? Oh, pal, yeah. Oh, pal, yeah. Uh, I love it. I love. I love. I love having a part of your amazing career. Um, I have this part of you guys that I own, and it's those those intense scenes that we did at in, on Fifty Seventh Street, you know, yeah. that I uh, I really I really treasure it. Well, we do too. I'm sure I feel that way, right, Donnie? Do you too? That's I don't care one bit. <laughs> 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 nothing changes. Nothing changes. No. I just was watching a lot of scenes as I was getting ready for this and Bob and Kim's wedding. Um, I was watching um, when the show was going off how classy it was for Julianne to come back and, and send you guys off. That was really nice. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you know, we've had some incredible people walk, you know, so many people walk through that door. Oh my God. Scotty, you worked with. You worked with, you know, Julianne and uh, Stephen. It's funny. Stephen? Yeah, a day doesn't go by that I don't think is somebody like Stephen Weber, Steve Bassett, Kathleen Widow. Yeah. yeah, incredible. John, you said Stephen was a great guy, Weber. Stephen? Oh, yeah. And, and very funny. Very funny. And, and it's just a joy to work with. Well, I don't think anyone can be as funny as you, sir. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> that, that is accurate. I'm to be I, you know what else? You know what else I I, um, I think about too is how how you guys uh, dealt with the writing of the show. And I mean, you you know, there was great writers and amazing writers. But I know from watching my wife play Ava Jerome, I know how hard it is to. To you know, you know, to make it work with what they want you to do, what what the performance is supposed to be, and what you can you know what you want to do. And I watched you guys do that in rehearsal hall. That was those were some of the most uh, um, formative times for me is watching you guys uh, approach your scripts um, and 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 you know how emotional it was to try to to try to get uh, to keep the integrity of your character. You know, and um, the way you did that. Those were those were some of the most excellent times with the directors and the and uh, and and working things out in rehearsal hall, you know. Yeah. Well, you definitely, Kathy, Don, I mean Scott, you play them. But you know, what do they know them? Pardon? I, I'm sorry, I, I didn't hear I, you. I Alan. just said you guys have played this character so long, you know them better than the writers because writers come and go over the years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. One of the big problems is that you have five scripts a week and five different writers. So a lot of times, you know, as good as the writer may be and the editors, there are things that get through that just don't last. So you do have to do a little editing here and there. Yeah, but I think there's a tendency in today's shows where people don't really want to play their part. You know, people, it's like, um, they, they're more concerned about how they're going to come off, or if their if their characters redeemed, or if you know. And and it's it, the, the back in back in the times when I worked with you guys, it was like everybody was more concerned with delivering the writer's message, you know, rather than becoming a star or, be, or getting the most material, or you know what I mean. It, there was a. It seemed yeah. like the way you guys approached it was the right way. Kathy, there was Thank a story you. when when the show went off the air and you guys were at the Paley Center. Um, you were talking about Eileen when you first came on the show and you were watching how she she was taking the words on the page but making them her own and making that you know it it, it freed you up 
to make him your own by watching Eileen. It was a great story. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. used to do this all the time, Donnie. She'd <laughs> be talking and she'd be doing this, that, and stuff. Is that? Yeah. Do you remember? <laughs> I do. I remember that. I, I, she was a, yeah, she was a character. She was, she was her character. Yeah. <laughs> Go ahead, Don. Sorry, sorry. I remember. I remember. No, no. That working with her, working with I, I love her. I mean, I, I have not seen her in ten years. I, I, have you seen her, Alan? Eileen? No. Fans keep asking me, and I'm trying to find her. I think she's in South Carolina. Somebody had told me, so I'm trying. She is North Carolina, but I, I don't know where. She from uh, uh, western part of the state. But, you know, she was, you know, she made her, her own character. And, and uh, Erna fell in love with her and, and from the beginning uh, and uh, let her go. I mean, she very rarely said half of what Erna wrote. And, uh, and <laughs> I know. Erna that, That's when I started you know, learning. Television shows. Like, so, you never knew what you were going to say. <laughs> but Erna, she said something about the script with Erna, and Erna said, well, I mean, you have never uh, said one word that I've ever written. <laughs> so funny. And, and Don, Kathy, and Scotty, you all worked with the amazing Larry Brigman. Can you share some Larry stories? And before I, before I let you speak, I mean, uh, Scotty, um, Trent was doing Trent was doing this recently with me, and he told the story of walking into a, a restaurant or a diner, and there was uh, Don and Larry eating. Right, Don, you saw Trent Dawson. He walked into a restaurant recently in the last year. Yeah, years. Larry and I were having lunch in Katona, and this guy came up to us. But he had been apparently on the show, and we and uh, he, uh, I can't remember what he was doing, but he was. About to start, I'm sure that he's in trouble now because of COVID 19, but he was about to start a, a theater company in New York, which is not a good time to start. Yeah. So, if yep, you can share off. some Larry stories. Larry, hmm. I'll, I'll, I'll start. I, I, uh, there's, the, there's one line that he said to me that I'll, I'll for, it was like a searing line, or he said in a scene, he said, you're not staying. And he said that line. I don't know if, if any fans will remember who he said that line to. I should probably, but he said uh, he said the line, you're not staying to a character. And it is seared into my head because it was so good. All right, I'll tell you. It was, he said that to uh, uh, the character of Courtney, who was my wife at the time. And she was telling, she was saying that she was going to leave. And so that so that was the most memorable scene that I remember. He took that one line and, and it, it just floored us, both Haley and I that day. Um, you know, I don't really, I, I have, I, I have so much respect for Larry. I mean, you know, yeah. he's, he's one of the best I've ever seen, yeah. you know, but you guys, he you is. Guys yeah, definitely. Well, uh, one of the fans says, Kathy, some of your early scenes with Larry were the stuff of legend. The hold, the hold he had on Kim and her emotional struggle to loosen his grip. Yes. <laughs> Dr. John, Johnny. Yeah. He was he was uh, a handful <laughs> to work with. Oh, but he wonderful. He uh, it's funny you talk, Scotty, about uh, remembering a scene. And uh, when Steve, uh, a character who's the Greek construction worker. Sure, sure. Show, Steve Andropoulos. Steve Andropoulos. Yeah. He had, uh, he had some strange virus. And Larry had to come in and say to me, he's allergic to himself. <laughs> and I, my, all I could think of was, that makes it unanimous. And we had to do that scene about seven times because every time he said to me, he's allergic to himself, we broke up. And, and finally, I, I think Heather was directly, come on, you guys, we got to get. 
<laughs> we couldn't even look at each other. I mean, it was, it was just so silly. It seemed. But Larry is one of the funniest guys around, and 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 I I love him, and I admire his talent. I really do. I think he's really one of the best actors I've ever. The, the four, the three of you had amazing scenes with him him. over the years, for sure. For sure. Oops, Don uh, froze. Let's see what happened. How did come we just we just switched? Play where's Donnie now? What happened? He should be there. He's buffering. Yeah. yeah. He's what? He'll come back. Oh, he's, 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 he's suddenly. Where's <laughs> 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 he? Was. His, <laughs> there. Uh, uh, I see him. Now. Um, hey, is Alan, is there, any, yeah. is there any way to take any questions from any, any yeah. fans or, yeah, I mean, I, I know this is now I've, I'm, uh, I'm kind of overstepping into Don and Kathy's chat here, but if, if you want, if, if you want me to stay, I'll stay. Um, if you want me to go, I'll go. Yeah. Well, I might need you to stay. I don't know what's happening to Donnie over there. Um, talk about, um, you and Andy Kavovit were on the show at the same time, Scotty, fans are asking you two still friends. Right. Yeah, we are friends. I haven't seen him in a while. I haven't talked to him in a while, but he, uh, you know, he, he keeps in touch. Uh, and, and I know he's had a, a terrific life. He's, he's an amazing person too. He was, it's funny. He was only, he wasn't really on, on world turns too long, but he made a huge impact. I mean, he won an Emmy award. He, he, uh, had amazing storylines with a lot of different people. Um, and I, I, you know, and then after he left, I mean, he had a good career too. And he's still, you know, I'm sure he's still uh, involved in the business. I mean, he's, he was always an inventor. So I think that's what, I think that's his real talent. He, he, he's he's a, somebody who um, thinks about how to improve products, you know? So I think, I think that's, that, that's what he's good at. But he, uh, yeah, yeah. He, he and I grew up together in, 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 to a certain extent. And um, uh, just another amazing find for Vince Part. I mean, you know, incredible. Just incredible totally. the people that he found, you know? Um, I will say, I think we did lose Don because uh, Leslie's not home. His, I think his internet kicked him off. Um, so I don't know that I can get him back without his uh, wife who helped us get him on. So I apologize to every, everybody Kathy, watching. You, Kathy, if you like to do this, and you want to do it again? I would love to do it again. So I'll do up it to you. Anytime. Um, well, we I, can definitely, you know, try to do it again with with him. Um, we got to put lead shoes on dad on daddy O. <laughs> yeah, I know. Leslie Les was around. <laughs> That's um, the thing. And and Scott, um, your daughter yeah. just got into school, right, Kate? Yeah. Yes, yeah, she's gonna she's gonna go to college to uh, do study acting. So yeah, we're, we're so proud of her because it's a tough process and, and um, uh, you know, yeah. we're yeah, just so proud of her. She's really good. She's really good. She's got, she's, she, if she wants to be an artist, she can do it. Hmm. You know? that, I mean, Vassar, right? An incredible school. Yeah. Sorry? Was it Vassar? Oh, uh, no, she, Joe, Joe um, was at Vassar. Uh, she's going to go to, a, she's going to go to, um, uh, SUNY. That's great. Well, that's a, um, somebody else I just had went there. I think Lawrence St. Victor, who's on Bold and the Beautiful now. Oh, it's a great, it's a very intense program. And, 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 uh, you know, I think she's, she's excited. She's, she's really excited. Kathy, do you remember going to Greece with World Turns? Oh, yeah. You, you got to go to Greece as well, right? Yeah, I with, think so. Uh, Steve Andropoulos. You were married yeah. to, uh, Gosh, I can't think of. Oh, that big tall guy? Was yes. It? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Very tall. I forgot. Very that. tall. It's enormous. I forgot. I can't think of his real name. I apologize. Frank I, Ryan? Yeah. yeah. Um, no. Oh, who are you? Oh, the Greek. Oh, but it might have been Frank Run. No, that was, that was Steve Andropoulos. But it might, I'm thinking of some, uh, I think there was a Nick. Big I think there's a nick in my head. Big black hair, right? Yeah, the the fans will tell us in 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 a minute. Kathy, do you remember? Um, one of the fans had when they saw that we were doing this, your Star Trek episode had just aired again. Yeah, I know. I saw it myself. <laughs> I I hadn't seen okay. it in years. 
Oh, wow. You had seen it. You, you just saw it too? Hey, Kathy, yeah. can, I, can I ask you a question? Sure. What was the what was your favorite time when I was a like what what was your favorite little storyline or favorite performance that you do you, do you have one? You mean on ATWT? Right. Well, you know what? I or did. do you even think like that? I don't even know if you even look at it that way. Well, well, what I first of all, I I did thirteen thousand. 858 episodes. And, um, that's incredible. It's the longest job. I, I always say it's the longest job I ever had. And I had the best partner I ever had working with Donnie. I mean, we were together for a long time. And, uh, you know, he has the best sense of humor of anybody I've ever met. And he's always got a funny line when you least expect it. You know, he was was great. And I'm still friends with, with Don and his wife, uh, Leslie Denniston, who was on our show. Don and Les have, uh, Don and Leslie have. Um, I, 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 was gonna, I was gonna ask Don, I think they're gonna be married 40 years this year. I, I think it's been at least that, yeah. 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 And so I, I mean, this show was, I just loved doing it. And I was heartbroken when they took us. I think we all were heartbroken. Is that Donnie? No, yes. No, it is, yeah. Hey, Donnie. Oh. That was Donnie. Oh, Donnie. <clears throat> Back. You Look at him. Well, it, it, it wasn't me that died. It was the computer. Ah, oh, so look at you. A uh, absolute computer expert. I plugged it in and it's alive again. Oh. Just all my oh, patience. The, it, the battery, just like your patience. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. How many did you kill? Everyone. <laughs> I used to say that I, from Dr. Bob's office to the morgue, there was a shoot. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. That is. Do you remember? I don't know. I think we had just gotten married or something, and they had me running and jumping face forward <laughs> to, you know, get on the bed with you in the bed. Fell yeah. Off. <laughs> do you remember? No. We were live then. And so you had to... <laughs> Did it collapse? Huh? Unless when I got married, it was just like the car <laughs> man. I threw on the bed and it collapsed. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, Don, is this 40 years this year for you? Yeah. Congratulations. That's amazing. Thank you. D-Day plus one. June that, that, That's yep. amazing. Dennis and Day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Great. Scotty, a lot of fans are, are writing how much it meant to hear what you had to say about Don and Kathy, so they're very appreciative. Oh, good. I, I um I wish I had I had prepared Mark remarks, but I, I <laughs> you did okay, uh -huh. good. <laughs> Kathy, so talk about it. you just saw the Star Trek episode. Do you remember anything about doing that? What I remember is uh, my agent telling me that I he just he just gotten the you know an offer for me to do this uh, show, and he said you've got the lead in the show. He said the thing is you don't have any lines. <laughs> I said wait a minute, how do you have a lead if you don't say any lines? So he said, you'll see, wait till you see what the name of the show is. So anyway, that was doing the empath. And of course, she didn't have any lines. It all had to be com communicated through her, her eyes. Her face and her eyes, yeah. yeah. And it was challenging, but they were wonderful to work with, those guys. And uh, <laughs> we had a scene that we were trying to shoot it was a doctor who had a slight uh, kind of southern accent a little bit just a little 
and he had a line about they were saying what's her name and he was saying his line was i'm i'm gonna call because i had this glittery uh you know stuff on my on my costume and he said i'm gonna call her jim jim that was his line jim Jim. Yeah, Jim. <laughs> Masochistic writer. So, so he kept saying, I'm going to call her Jim, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't get the scene shot because we were all laughing so hard. And then, of course, I had, you know, I had to put a, I don't know, something over my head and get myself, you know, back <laughs> I think of that often when I see that that uh, film, the Empire. Any idea that 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 show would last as long as it did? I I'm just absolutely amazed, and I over the years, I mean, I assume it's still the same. I don't know. Are they still on the air? Even different versions. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, they they replay those, but there's yeah. um. CBS is airing a show right now, I believe, a Star Trek series of some. Yeah, they, that was a great show to work on, though. They were really nice guys, and I, you know, but I always remember I was going to call her Jim, Jim. <laughs> oh, <So>, uh, <laughs> John, you were married five times on World Turns. Was I? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to ask if you know your wives, which wives? Oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> it was uh, Lisa and, and uh, uh, oh, uh, Sandy. Uh, Sandy. Yep. And then there was the woman that the original story was supposed to kill me. Uh, the, uh, Miranda. Miranda. She, that, that original story was she was going to kill me, and then they changed that because we changed writers, and uh, and that that ended that storyline, and then finally ended her on the show. Too. But she's a good actress, yeah, Elaine Princey, and then Kathy, and then that was it, right? No, Jill. Uh, uh, yeah, Kathy's yeah, right. sister. Ten yeah. That was it. My, imagine the alimony I'd be paying if they all lived. <laughs> you wouldn't want that for sure. Scotty, were you just married? Was Andy married once? Yes. yes. Oh, yes, once. Yep. A couple of girlfriends. And, and but one, just one true you love. You said Haley. I can't think of her last name. Haley Barr. Haley yeah. Barr. Very nice person. Very great actress. And uh, and and I think she's a. I think she. I'm not sure if she still acts, but I. She was a photographer. So, uh, um, but yeah, those were fun days um, yeah. when she was there. Yeah, I'm trying to remember. We had a lot of, and, young people, you know, we really did. You had a lot of talented young people on that show. They really. And we had the luxury, we had, I was just gonna say, we had the luxury of, it, it seemed like uh, there's, there was more time to do things uh, during the day. And I mean, I watched my wife uh, work on General Hospital and it's amazing how many scenes she does in such little time. And so it's a totally, you guys would be amazed at how they do it. Um, and we had time to do, you know, if you had to break, if Don was gonna break you up in a scene, it was okay. You didn't worry about it too much, you know? I mean, because, you know, you could do another take. You could do two, three takes if you needed to, uh, but yeah. No time Sorry, I didn't mean to change the subject. No, no, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. That's one of the reasons our show went off, I think. It became so uh, departmentalized. And, and uh, not only were the stories not terribly good, but, but also the way we had to work. No right. right. And, and uh, yeah. it's, it's become the norm now. And it, it's not for really good television, I don't think. It's, no, I agree. Uh, speed acting. Kathy, when you joined World Turns, you were a homewrecker. Did you have fun doing that? Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And how many how many times was Kim married? Do you... A lot. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't I? Yeah, yeah, I mean. It's so long ago. 
John was a husband, right? Because Andy. Yes. Um, Dr. Bob, I think, and he was uh, came in drop. Came in drop on us. The last one, Johnny. His name was Reynolds. Remember, Kathy, and you had been married to a man named Reynolds, which was heard right. before appeared. Yeah. So you you two were probably neck and neck for for a five, but I'm sh I'm sure a fan will tell me any minute. Uh, there were quite a few husbands. Were you married to Nick? Um, yeah, that Nick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Nick Andropoulos. Andropoulos, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Nico oh. and Steve Wood. <laughs> I told you. I told you a fan would tell me. Um, somebody just. It was Jason Reynolds. Oh yeah. John Dixon and Nick Andropoulos. Okay. Before 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 Doctor Bob. Yeah. What What do you all remember about Julianne? Because fans are asking. Because you all. Well, I I. I she obviously was talented, and then because <laughs> Douglas uh, uh, Marlin, our writer at that time, and probably the best writer, best head writer we had, uh, and you know she played two parts, which was difficult, and and uh, I think she went and, and drove her crazy. We would have to do scenes twice, once as one character and then the other, and change clothes. And we had to stand there, you know. But she uh, obviously found it, and I love you. I love you. One of the few people that's gone on to uh, start up that still remembers uh, the show and enjoyed working with us, and uh, where some of them uh, uh, denied yeah. practically. You know. But she's yeah, always you know, talked about her roots with World Terms on almost every show she's done. Scotty, do you remember anything? I, mean, I know you. Oh yeah, I remember a lot about her. Her little gold lighter that she had, because we all smoked back then. And uh, <laughs> she would, you know, she was such a, she was very like f small, feisty, strong, like, um, you know, just like she projected like a kind of a like a fiery little strength in that in, in her, and um, and she was. She was like a recent college graduate, but she was really nice to me. I mean, she was, she didn't, I mean, she was thinking about her career. I'm sure she was probably, you know, pushing hard or was like, you know, a really big job for her and she was working hard, but she was, you know, I remember her being terrific and just kind of, kind of had a shine to her, just like Parker Posey did, you know? There was just a shine on her, you know? And, and I didn't realize at the time, this is all looking back, I mean, I. At the time, I, I just thought, "Wow, this, she's my sister." You know, it was it was neat. But now I look back and I see how special she was. Marissa Tomei too was another young woman that put it oh. Yeah, nice <laughs> shine on her too. Chris Chris LeBlanc. Actually, that's funny. Chris LeBlanc and uh, Marissa Tomei. I'll always think of them for as the world turns because yeah. they were they were like a breath of fresh air on that set. You know. They, they just upped the pace and the, and and it was you know it was really nice having them. I'm trying to remember her name, but I know Kirk. I think he was Kirk, but I can't remember. Oh, Tom Wigan. Yeah. No, no, uh, Christian LeBlanc's character. Oh, I was trying oh, to you. Oh, yes, yes, yes. I yes, thought his it was Kirk, Kirk too. Oh, it might have been wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Somebody's gonna tell me in a minute. Oops. <laughs> Somebody tell me in a minute. Um, I saw that. Know when. Yep, yes. and Ming Na Wen. Yep. Yes. Very special person. Extremely. Another another person with a shine on her when, that you could tell. And uh and she um she yeah, somebody I just saw a pop up that said that she didn't forget her roots either. And that's true. I know that's true. No, she didn't. She didn't at all. My phone is ringing, it's my agent. All right, well, <laughs> good luck. Put, a good, put in a good word. You got that set up. You got you got that job. You're gonna get that job. Listen, what are you listen to me? That somebody wrote it and said, I had D say kiddo, toots, and pal. Yes, exactly. <laughs> kiddo, toots, and pal. <laughs> yes, exactly. So that's it. <laughs> and and it's and it's absolutely hundred percent true that I use those same words with my own children. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Maybe not, not toots. Do we say toots more? <laughs> Do we say toots? That's a that's pal. Yeah, toots is Kathy. 
Does, 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 does wifey want to say hello? Because some of the fans were asking. Give me a message when you're leaving the hospital. Uh, my my brother-in-law fell and, and hurt her leg, and uh, so they're on their way home. And she had to go over with some wound that sent her that they have to check this wound. She skinned her whole shit. Oh wow! Oh, your mother-in-law is interesting. To have this, uh, and we didn't think she had to go today, but uh, she wasn't feeling well, so it less took her over. But uh, they're on their way home, and uh, I guess they're both in the car. Um, I only heard from my wife, but uh, my mother-in-law is. <laughs> well, I hope I hope she's okay. I hope she's okay. I really can't thank you all enough for doing this. Oh, thank you, Alan. It's been fun. Great to see you, Catherine. It's been great. The best for you and your family. It's wonderful. So, I, uh, the fans. I, I'm so um, so grateful to you, Catherine and Don, for doing it. I, I hope that maybe we can do it again someday. Uh, it, was, it means a lot to me. And um, so, thank you very much. Thank you, Alan. Amazing. You're very welcome, Scott. It's great to see all three of you. I can't tell you. I know the fans were truly looking forward to this day it is like seeing you know your parents and your family so everybody stay well and stay healthy you too bye bye now love you guys bye bye stay you can stay backstage for a minute and i'll sign off bye everybody thank you so much for tuning in today i hope you enjoyed today's show as much as i did and i will